Hello my wrestlers! Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about anything and everything and this video is about how I hated school. Well, I hate, so I hate with not so much aggression because it wasn't hate I guess. I just didn't really like academic stuff at all. I really enjoyed sports and I really enjoyed art but so much emphasis was put on being academic and that you have to achieve certain goals to achieve certain things in life as you're growing up and this is so much pressure on children and so much pressure on yeah everyone as you're growing up you feel like if I don't achieve these goals I'm going to get nowhere in life and looking back on it now I'm thinking it's it's not the best way to go because in life you should happiness is not achieved by how brainy someone is or how intelligent someone is. Happiness is achieved by what you get from life and how you live life and people you have in your life, not educational purposes. Yes, I can see why educational, you need it because you have to learn how to write and obviously speak. But even now, to be honest, I can't spell certain things, but that's going back to another video, obviously. I said before that I have dyslexia. Um, so I'm dyslexic, so if you want to see that video, it's just there. But I just feel some people just, there's so much pressure on about schools and how you're put in that classroom where you're learning with so many children and you're sitting at a desk. But me, because I'm a visual person, like I say, sports and visual is my, my, how I am. I just didn't, you just can't take it in, can you? Because you're just trying to take it all in and you're just sitting there thinking, I just want to be doing something else or my attention span would go so quickly and then you can't achieve anything more in that time frame because everything you're taking after this time isn't going to work because when I have I just go to uni so obviously achieved the ability to go to uni but due to it was our basis even though I still did essays and I got quite high grades in my essays but it was something I was loved doing so the research that I was doing was finding interesting and thrilling so it made me want to achieve this because it's something I loved so it's a bit different I guess but I was best at presentations because I feel I can speak a lot more fluently and I'm more confidently than I can write. If I put in a situation where I can write and stuff, it panics me and I just get in a major mess and just try and calm myself down and try and take myself into my own little bubble and just try and control the situation again. Because obviously once you get out of control, you just feel like it's just, you're going off on your own little... Thing, what you don't want but I do feel for kids some kids at school especially when they hate it and they're like running away from classes and stuff because you think well that child's not obviously gonna learn this way are they that's not the best way to teach that kid because they're not gonna learn sitting there in a classroom with teachers on a board just saying or computers nowadays saying do this write this copy this how's copying something from a textbook gonna go into your brain it's not the stuff what I remember the most at school is stuff where it was like physical, like science and stuff when you were doing like different things and science experiments and obviously art drawing. It's all physical stuff and visual things what I would remember. And they used to try me insane sometimes that I knew people that, because I had a mixed bunch of people that I knew who were either in top groups or same groups as me or wherever. But they would not have to revise and they'll come in and get high grades in their tests and you're just like, wow, I spent so long revising and some of my time I could have spent out with my friends or doing something, I was revising due to a test and you're thinking, I've kind of lost that moment it's due to I was trying to revise for something that I still couldn't achieve what I wanted to achieve because it, my brain does not work in that way. So I think sometimes we just need to stop being so harsh on certain children because they're not all going to be the same. You're not going to be the same. Some people just achieve things differently. You think of Albert Einstein. He was a genius. 
but he, that's because he thought differently. He was very creative and very arty. And people will sometimes think, just because you're arty, they think, oh, they put you down because they think, oh, she's not intelligent, she's not ambitious. That's a load of rubbish. M most people who think differently are the people that have created the world and the world that it is like now. And the way we live, you wouldn't have certain technology due to people like that. So you need to backtrack sometimes when you think things through. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and obviously comment in the box below on anything other subjects you would like me to natter on about and I'll get onto them. And I'll see you guys later and stay yourself.